Hello. There again. Here we are. Let's do it. All right. We have a seaside board. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So the bot does love rebuild, and it is at times fast enough to win. Kind of how it goes. Um... Now that's not to say that the bot will not, <clears throat> not and that's not to say that's necessarily what you want to go for here. I mean I think it pillages. It pillages. So the the probably the stronger thing here is the village wharf engine with some amount of the other five dollar villages. The bot will also buy wharf, so we'll see how it how it ends up going. But the Thing that maybe if the bot is just rebuilding a lot, village may help out there. So depending on how many wars they have, it could be an issue. Anyway, I think the opening, I think, okay, so if you're just going straight rebuild, probably the opening would be Silver Scavenger. Um, and I th But I think if you're going to try and draw more cards, I think you'd probably go ahead and open with the village. Um, okay, they get tide pools. I pull silver. So that's good for hitting five. I buy war. So far my draw is pretty good. I mean, there's a world where you find the scavenger turn three and, and uh actually my no my draws are kinda average, but that's good enough for this deck. Um I'm gonna go ahead and play both of these even though there's some potential issues. So I didn't find the wharf, which is actually super bad. Um, it's like super, super bad, actually. Maybe I take a bazaar here. They bought a rebuild. Hmm. Well, this could go really bad, or it could go pretty okay. <clears throat> So it went pretty okay. Actually it went basically as good as it possibly could. Uh, so for, fortunately we didn't have the scavenger in hand. If we had, we would have been able to do something nice here, but um, this again is still probably good enough. <laughs> And the question here is always like double wharf versus double bazaar. You can make arguments for both, but probably wharf bazaar is a little safer here. So the bot, I guess, does not have any green cards. They or they was just all in hand, I guess. That's really unfortunate for the bot. Uh what have they trashed? Just single estate? That's just a pretty bad draw for the poor bot. We got two wharfs down. Obviously, this could have gone a little better in terms of hitting a fishing village or something, but this is still fine. <clears throat> um, so we're going to go ahead and put another wharf on top. So the nice... Scavenger is nice in the opening. It can because if you draw it turn three, you can buy a five and then top you know shuffle your deck or discard your deck to see the five sooner. And it's sort of nice in the middle here because we have enough extra action that we can play a scavenger in the middle of our turn and put like a warp on top. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um. We may not play this fishing village. Let's see how much money would that give us. 13. I don't know. 12. Because 12 isn't that exciting. 13 would be pretty exciting, but 12 isn't. 11 is probably. Um, we can start thinking about popping in some of the rebuilds occasionally. We have a double wharf.
It was a good turn for the bot. Um, let's see if we draw more. Yeah. I was thinking we can at least play one and check if we need to do the scavenger thing. And at this point, we have all the, the wards, so it doesn't matter. Um, Okay, now we're now we're moving. Yeah, I think I like a pillage maybe. This is kind of not the ideal time to put in another fishing village, but probably do it anyway. Um We had three war oh no, we played four wars. We have three on the other side. Let's get a pillage and a Probably buy quite a few fishing villages here. At least two, I would guess. We can't quite draw both the spoils here, so that's not... <clears throat> I don't actually know which is better between the rebuild or the tide pools. I guess probably the rebuild. Um, but it's not totally clear to me. This bad scavenger didn't matter one way or the other. I think we'll take... We're kind of getting to the point where um, I'm okay with one more pillage. Honestly, I would like one more fishing village, but we don't necessarily need fishing villages over bazaars. We're still nowhere near three pile. We're going to be able to put out double province turns. Um, Pretty much no problem. What did they end up doing? Tide pool. Like now the tide pools, I'm going to toss them. They didn't play wharf, did they? No. Like I'm going to discard them down to four, and then they're going to lose two more cards. So they're going to have a pretty horrible hand size here. Um, I don't know if the last. This will toss rebuild. That's not clear to me at all. But class card's bizarre. We don't actually have enough draw to like do the pillage thing. We have essentially we have too many fishing mills. Um but maybe we'll be here once we buy this war. The problem is gonna be And it's not a problem. Problem is overselling it. Uh, I don't know what the easiest pile. We have to make up the little bit. So at some point we can buy a bunch of tide pools if we know we're gonna be able to win the following turn. I didn't replace the pillage there, but which maybe I ought to have, but. So we will draw a deck here because we don't have the pillage dwarf stuff. And actually, we would have had the draw for it anyway. Um, we probably should have done that, but now at this point, it's definitely getting to be like a little bit too late for it. <clears throat> huh. As far as that goes, I think I'll take a. I mean, if we buy gold, that does get us to 24, which is triple province, though at the same time, I don't think we can... How many cards did the... This wharf didn't draw anything. This is the more fishing village turn or less fishing village turn. This is the more fish. We should have one fewer card of fishing villages, and then... 
Oh no, wait. We we played a spoils this turn. Actually, have that much money. We'd have to buy like we could do. Don't think we could draw them. Um, what did the bot do? I guess there's a world where the bot double provinces. <clears throat> buys a province. I don't know that the duchy defends against that in any way, but. We probably do want to scavenger a I don't know that we'll get to double well yeah we will. It wasn't guaranteed out. Anyway, this is like this is gonna be a board that the bot is especially so one thing to I don't think I've talked about this, but in Daily Dominion you always play as first player. That's a pretty significant advantage in Dominion. So in particular, if you're just rolling this bot randomly, or ro rolling this board randomly against the bot, I do think you would lose sometimes, just on the back of draws. Scavenger mitigates that to some degree. Scavenger and Pillage mitigate that issue. I guess they're not the same thing. So Scavenger mitigates your draws being bad at the start to some degree. So if you just don't see the Scavenger, it doesn't help with that. And then... Mitigates maybe not the right word. It makes it less likely that you'll have kind of sad draws, um, and accelerates you a little bit. So the and then the pillage of course just buys you more time if you have to have it. Um, you can kind of see. I mean, the the thing is like if they get the provinces lowered by another one or two earlier, which is certainly possible if they have better draws or just. Think they probably can make better buys, but they bought a lot of gold or two golds and stuff that don't really accelerate their win condition. But um, this is definitely a plausible a board where it's possible to lose the bot. I think even if you, I, when I say that, I don't mean for anybody at all time. I just mean even if you play this board really well, it's still plausible. I think to lose the bot some amount of the time due to shuffle. Um, in any case, we had good enough draws here, and there was, there was, there was still plenty of time, I think. I, I maybe shouldn't have even lowered the provinces to three. And it was fun. It was fun. But in any case, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.